Just the go-go 80s. Anything went. 106.9 Free FM. Classes in session. I'm working over hey, here. Okay, I'm here. That's right. Okay, I don't know what kind of music transition that was, but I totally have to call you out on that because all of a sudden it was like, I make you crazy. And then we went into some like 70s jive music. From, yeah, it was awful, wasn't it? Oh my gosh. Welcome back to the Irene and the Three Yes Men show. We don't know if we're going to call it the Irene and the Three Yes Men. Yes. Because Dan. <laughs> Dan, who's the producer of the show, clearly doesn't consider himself a yes man. We could have it the two yes men and the 70s jive guy. (laughs) (laughs) That'd be cool. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I remind you to go with that for a while, and we'll see how, how we like we'll that. We'll see whether the yeah. uh, listeners like yeah. it. Uh, well, they can call in. I really like the mud flap idea, since we're so big with truckers. I like the idea of us being like the mud flap show. Oh, like, I'm, I'm down for that because, okay. I think that's what we should be called, the mud flaps. I have to make a confession because I was talking to yes, a, menace. a lady today. And then, <laughs> then she goes. Then you better confess that because yeah. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you can confess, but I already know it's a lie. So keep going. All right. So well, listen, to, <laughs> oh. listen to the story I just made up then. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I was talking to this girl and she goes, oh, she was listening to the podcast. So you can download the podcast right now at 106.9 Free, Free FM. Free FM. That's right. Of all the shows. That's right. And she was listening to the podcast and she goes, oh, so you're a yes man. I'm uh, not really. Oh. <laughs> you know? I was trying to play it off. Oh, that's awesome, though. Uh, That's awesome. Wait, uh, is this the girl that you met on Muni? No, it's not. Oh, okay. Okay, because I I do want to... No, <laughs> I do want to revisit this topic because yeah, we're talking Menace again. was saying that it's good to meet people on Muni, and I was saying it's actually not a good place to meet people because if you actually meet somebody and that's like your regular bus route, it will like 99% of relationships don't work out. It probably won't work out, and now you're going to have to find a new way to get to work. True. You, you know, I know. Like, I hate to be a pessimist. Sorry to interrupt. Go ahead, Dan. I noticed there's three people standing in your studio there. I know. There are three very big people are standing in the studio here that I'm about to introduce. With a colorful, is that an Italian flag? That sure is. All right. Of course, I represent Italy right here. I'm glad I got it right. I'm That's like, right. I know your and your right. your 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 pecs and your your muscles your six pack is bulging out of your suit. Of course suit it there. is. Of course it is. That's... I train hard on my body. I look like a million bucks. <laughs> they call me the Italian Superman for a reason. So wait, I and have a question. It's because of my fantastic so look. So the Italian Superman. So then you're on the good side. You know how rest. No, 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 no. Oh, you no, got really? it all wrong. I do. No, no, no. I'm no good guy here. You're not. No, I'm not. I'm a very, very bad man. I'm with the Italian mafia here, dude. Oh, right. no, we don't play. Right, right, we don't play right. by the rules. Right, right. We're in the right part of town, too. <laughs> so now, I, okay. So how did you become part of the Italian mafia? <laughs> well, you, you did could a say pinky I was promise, born. and then you broke off someone's pinky. <laughs> That's your idea of a pinky promise? Now? No, I was born in the Italian mafia. My parents were in the Italian mafia. You could say I was born into it. So I bring it over here to pro wrestling. I bring the family tradition to pro wrestling. But you're like the biggest Italian guy I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> of course. Like, dude. I'm Italian, and my dad's a big guy, but it's not big the way you're big. <laughs> of He's course the not. big stomach guy. That's the way my dad is. <laughs> this guy looks like a My bouncer. dad eats, uh, yeah. Not Venice. <laughs> no, Venice here is huge. <laughs> of course, dude. Italian Superman, like I've said. Now, wait a minute. We need to send you him did on not Muni. Really. Oh, my gosh. Send him Muni. on Muni. What's that? Is that like some kind of rail system around here? Yeah. It's, oh, it's, Muni, it's that's like the buses, public, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't roll that way. No, that's too little public. for me. That's so beneath pu- me. <laughs> now, here's my thing, Venice. How do you how do you keep doing it? Because I was reading about wrestling online. You know, because I, I being a, a, a girl, a nice little girl from Pleasant Valley, I, you know, I was in church too much to be praying, praying. Hmm. Uh, I, I wasn't watching wrestling. So I didn't know much about... Five days a week, you guys wrestle? Mm, most days, yeah. yeah that's true. Five, five days, days a week. There is no sport where athletes do that five days a week. Not only that, it's 365 days a year. We don't take a season off or nothing like that. We wrestle that all year get, long. Is that because you'd get, like, what, why do you have to wrestle all year long? Can't there's, we? there's no seasons in professional wrestling. 
You just go, 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 and fight, fight, fight. Now, what's the website for APW? It's allprowrestling.com. Now, here's the thing. You guys are actually like a school, too. You train people. We're a training school. We actually do shows out of our training school. It's a kind of neat thing. They're free shows, and what we do is we collect three cans of food and an unopened toy for the needy, and so it's like a win-win situation. The guys get experience in front of 50, 60 people. Then they move up to a higher level, which is the 150, 200 people. How uh how how do you I mean so basically they get to, they can try it out but the school I mean I, I, what's the deal with the training because I was looking at the prices I mean it is it's expensive rugged. it's expensive it's a two year program you it's not just a two finan- years before an audience two two years no actually training. halfway through they get their feet wet with pro matches but it's a two year training program and and it, it is a commitment not just financial but it's a commitment of time and and sacrifice and commitment. You want to live your dream, dude. It's the perfect price. Really? Yeah. It, now, here's the thing. Everybody says everybody says this, and you know it. You're a promoter. People say wrestling's fake. What do you say to that? When people tell me wrestling's fake, I, I tell them, you know, there's a lot of things we can do in the training. We can alleviate some of the pain by teaching you how to land properly. Right. But it doesn't eliminate. It alleviates. There's a big difference. These guys take a pounding on their body night in and night out and that's what i got to say to those and those that say that hey wrestling's fake huh i look at them and i go you just now discovered that 